Welcome to Dateline, everyone. I'm Lester Holt. Summertime. The living may be easy, but holding on to your money can be as hard as ever. So NBC's national investigative correspondent Jeff Rawson joins us tonight with two investigations that may help, starting with a common summertime home repair, a broken air conditioner. Your first call, of course, is to a repair company. Your first concern may be, will I be charged for repairs I don't need? So we put contractors to the test. And though the air conditioner may have been broken, our hidden cameras are working just fine are talking about temperatures that are just going to continue to climb. Feels like 104 in Bloomfield, 101 in Emerson. We set up our experiment in the middle of a major heat wave. Renting this house in suburban New Jersey. Inside, this mother of six, Amy Jones, who agreed to play our homeowner with a broken air conditioner. Hi, I'm having trouble with my air conditioning unit. We had Amy call six repair companies to fix the AC. Come on in, you guys. So glad you can come. One by one, the contractors show up at our door to look at our unit and tell our mom how much they would charge to fix it. I could do it for, I think, $8.50. What they don't know? This guy looks like he doesn't know what he's doing. We're tracking their every move. Before they arrived, we had three certified AC experts inspect our system from top to bottom, checking coolant levels. Very, very good shape. Testing the parts. Excellent shape, good working condition. Even cleaning our unit. It's perfect. How often do you see technicians charging people for things they don't need? Every day. Then we brought in Bobby Ring, president of a top AC company and senior vice chair of the Air Conditioning Contractors of America. He set up what he says is a common and easy to fix problem, a simple broken wire that shuts the cooling down. He says he would charge about 180 bucks for the repair. So the technician tells us you need other work done to fix this problem. They're either incompetent or dishonest. We wired our house with eight hidden cameras to capture every angle. We put them in birdhouses, on the chimney, even inside the unit itself. As each company arrives, zoom in on that camera. We're watching with our expert from a control room in the basement. Hey, how are you? We told Amy, make it clear to the contractors, we only want repairs to get our unit working today. The problem is with the downstairs, it's blowing warm air. Mm -hmm. uh, where's the unit outside? It's right around the side around of the here? house, yeah. Good news, this first company finds and fixes our broken wire. And look, the unit turns back on. But instead of stopping there, the contractor tells Amy she has another serious problem, a clogged coil that could cause the unit to overheat. I'm going to have to clean it, clean the coil. There's a special chemical we put on the, on the coil. I have to do this part to fix oh, yeah. it today? I recommend it all the way. The, 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 the coil is it's, it's like very dirty. If you ask me as a professional, yes. You need as a to professional, do it. I need yes. to do it today? Yes. yes, definitely. Okay. Only one problem. Do those coils need cleaning? No, we just cleaned those coils in the last week. So they're clean? Absolutely, they don't need to be cleaned. His total price, $310. Jeff Rawson with NBC News. That's hey, when I step in. Why do you say you need to clean the coil? Because it needed to, you know, it needed to be clean. That coil was just cleaned by our expert last week. I, I saw it, it clogged. You saw it clogged? Yes. Can you come show me? Yes. Great. So we go outside where one of our experts shows him the coil. That's it right there. It is clean. I don't see any dirt on the coil. Then the contractor moves to another part. Look at the dirt over here. Pointing to these leaves, which our experts say are harmless. I fixed the problem for her, okay? And after that, I recommended to her that to clean it. But then you went in and you tried to get more money out of it. No, 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 no. It's not about that. I was recommending to the customer that you need to do that. But it sounded to us like more than a recommendation. If you ask me as a professional, yes. You need as a to professional, I need yes. to do it today? Yes. yes, definitely. If I'm trying to rip the customer off, okay, uh -huh. I would tell her, you know what, you need a capacitor, you need this, you need that, you need that. I was very honest with the customer. But still wrong, say our experts. His company didn't return our calls for comment. What's the problem, sir? The downstairs is blowing warm air. 
We have high hopes for this next contractor. Uh, take your time. I just want to get the problem fixed today. He finds the real problem, our broken wire. And look, he turns the machine back on. But he doesn't tell Amy that. Instead, he tries selling her an expensive part, a capacitor. So the capacitor is what's causing the problem? So I would need a new capacitor? A capacitor? Where have I heard that before? Oh, that's right, our last guy. If I'm trying to rip the customer off, I would tell her, you know what, you need a capacitor. Yet this contractor wants to replace it anyway. He's either incompetent or he's trying to deceive her. There's nothing wrong with the capacitor in that unit. We checked it. His price, $395. Hi, Jeff Rawson with NBC News. How are you? I ask for an explanation. Thank you. Do you want to stand by your story that the capacitor is broken, or do you want to tell us right now that you weren't being fully truthful? Let me just check it out. Back outside, we have our expert show him the real problem, fixing the broken wire and turning the machine on in seconds. No broken capacitor here. Do you stand behind your estimate of nearly $400? His company later told us his tech made a mistake and was suspended, and his actions don't reflect on the company. So far, we're having a bad day. Two companies, two inflated bills. Hi, how are you? But what happens with these next contractors? Because it's leaking. And it's leaking. Yes, combustible fluid. Surprised, even our expert. He appears to be incompetent. As you're about to see, the bills are going way up. You just wanted to charge this woman $950 to fix a non-problem. Okay. Don't push us. Well, and so is the heat. Don't hit the count. When Dateline continues. Returning to our story, our hidden cameras caught air conditioner repairmen charging us for expensive fixes that our experts said we didn't need. And now, temperatures and tempers are rising. Here again is Jeff Rawson. The problem with our air conditioner is simple. A broken wire that shuts the cooling down. Let me show you what we're going to do. We know because our experts set it up that way. He'd charge about $180 to fix it. He's going back inside. So with hidden cameras rolling... Have a seat. And this mom, Amy, um. posing as our homeowner, we're testing the honesty and expertise of AC repairmen. So he found the problem. Yes, he did. I'm watching their every move with a top AC expert. This guy doesn't look to be highly skilled. So far, our expert says these repairmen have tried charging us for fixes we didn't need. I'm gonna have to clean it. And it's $3.95 for everything. Hi, how are you? Then Joe shows up. You're having an AC issue. Yes. Joe a seems like a pro, too. even takes the time to put on booties so he doesn't track dirt um, into our home. Down here is not working. It's blowing warm air. Gotcha. And Joe sure sounds on the up and up. Well, we're on Angie's list, and we man, we're part of Better Business Bureau. We're licensed, bonded, all we're all certified, so you're getting professional service people at your house. Even better, he finds and fixes our broken wire quickly. Look, the unit's working. Fan is turning. But then Joe goes to work, calculating our bill. This was a simple fix. He's sure writing a lot. What could be taking him so long? We're about to find out. Back inside, he tells Amy her unit's got more problems than a broken wire. Because oh. it's leaking. It's leaking. Yes, combustible fluid. Combustible fluid. That's leaking. And that, and that has to be fixed today. Yes. To fix the problem. Yes. So, leaking combustible fluid? That sounds serious. And to fix it, Joe says, we need an expensive part. So we have him replace it. Is this a ripoff? It certainly looks that way. But remember, before we even began, we had these certified experts inspect our unit, and they found no leaks, no problems at all. It's perfect. Not according to Joe. And what's the total for that? It's the 692.18. That's right, nearly $700, more than triple what our expert said he charged to get our unit running. Hi, Jeff Rawson with NBC News. Did you actually test the part that you replaced before you replaced it? Yeah. Actually, we were watching you on hidden camera, and you didn't. Our expert says this looks like a ripoff. 
nearly $700 for an easy problem that we rigged, and that was the only problem with the unit. We were watching you on hidden camera. It was camera. leaking combustible fluid. We had our experts check that unit this morning, and it is not leaking combustible fluid, they say. It was. Are they all wrong? It's definitely on there. Why don't you show us? So he does, and what he claims is a leak, our expert says, is just harmless rust, and any contractor should know it. Seems a little outrageous, according to the expert we talked to. The company owner told us his tech made a poor decision by requiring these repairs instead of recommending them. He says he has an upstanding company with 28,000 customers and many positive reviews. Now watch our next two appointments. They baffle even our expert. Come on in, you guys. I'm so glad you can come. This first company doesn't waste any time telling our mom her AC needs several expensive repairs. A new capacitor, a contactor. C contactor? Contactor, and uh -huh. you need some free. Wow. And all of that I'd have to do today to make it work today? Yes. But remember, our experts checked the machine that morning, and it was fine. He didn't even put his gauges on the unit, so it's impossible for him to honestly tell her that he needs that she needs Freon. His price, $850. Hi, Jeff Rawson from NBC News. I wasn't expecting his reaction. Right. 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 You get that out of my face while I'm punching your jaw. Excuse me? You heard me. You're going to punch me in my jaw? Yeah, get out of my face. It gets even uglier. Why were you going to charge her? Don't push us. Bro, get the out of my face. Don't hit the camera. The experts that we had checked this, this unit say that the capacitor is fine, the contactors are fine. So why were you going to charge her $850? To replace them. I don't think they're fine. His company didn't return our calls for comment. We think we've seen it all. Come on in. Until on in. Jimmy shows up. Are you looking like the service it? He's wearing the hat. And that's his assistant. After a quick inspection, he has some bad news for Amy. She needs several pricey parts. I gotta change the contactor, the capacitor, and the time delay. But wait a minute. There's no such part as a time delay in our machine. So he's saying she needs a part that doesn't even exist in this. That's correct. Okay. The price, $950. Okay. He doesn't want to talk about it. Our experts say that this is either dishonesty or incompetence. How do you respond to that? I don't have to get in the camera. Do you have anything you want to say about this? No. You said you have to fix the time delay. There's not even a time delay part in this unit. Can you please shut off the camera? He goes back to gather his supplies, still sticking by his story that the unit needs new parts to work. But we know that's not true. Don't you want to stick around to watch our expert fix the problem? The company says he was fired. Is there anything you want to say? Yeah, have a nice day. You have a nice day as well. So how do you find the right company? First, get referrals from people who've had good experiences and try a company out before you have a problem. Have them come out to your home once or twice a year to service your system. And then when you have a breakdown, you'll already be working with someone who's been to your home that you know and trust. And go to our website. We'll give you links to help you find a trained contractor in your area. That may help you avoid our experience. Six out of six companies, every one we called, experts say, tried charging us for unnecessary repairs.